Welcome to the channel. Today we're having a look at the upgraded integration that was introduced with Home Assistant Core 2024.10 for the SLZB06 Zigbee coordinators. This is an update on the previous integration that was added in 2024.09 and adds support for a heap of new entities, so things are really moving fast over at SM Lite. If you are not familiar with these Zigbee coordinators, then watch my video in the pop-up above. But basically, these are probably the most advanced Zigbee coordinators on the market currently. Very powerful, excellent range, very flexible, well documented, great control through online web UI, simple to configure and amazing customer support. And now with an integration that allows you to view the controls for your SL ZB06 coordinator directly from within Home Assistant. So let's quickly jump on in, see what's changed and how this is going to help you. One of the greatest strengths of the SLZB06 range of Zigbee coordinators is the ability to be controlled over a web UI that can be easily accessible from anywhere on your network. As long as your SLZB06 is powered, which can be either USB-C or powered over Ethernet, is connected to your network, either via Ethernet or via Wi-Fi, then its web UI to control the device can be accessed on the default web address of slzb-06.local. This makes it super simple to find and control straight from your browser. Now for the integration to work, there are a few prerequisites. First, your SLZB must have a core firmware newer than 2.3.6. Also, your coordinator should be one of the SLZB06 range, which include the 06, 06M, 06P7 and 06P10. SM Lite did already have an integration in place. Here in my test environment running Home Assistant Core 2024.9.3 and with the SM Lite integration installed. In this the previous integration you could see the core chip values and the Zigbee chip temperature along with two hidden entities for the file system and the RAM usage. Opening up the web UI, you can see the corresponding values straight from the device. Interesting that although the values are close, they are not exactly the same, even when the page is refreshed. Now let's move to my production environment that is running 2024.10.2. Navigating to the settings, you can see a core firmware for the SLZB06 is outstanding. This was not picked up previously, and we can now update it from Home Assistant and not have to go into the web UI. Navigate to Devices and Services, search for SM Lite, and select Devices. We can see that SM Lite has now greatly expanded the functionality, exposing a lot more controls, configurations, and diagnostics. Let's expand out all the hidden entities that are not shown for controls, configuration, and diagnostics so that we can review them. For each of these entities, we'll show you the corresponding entry in the web UI, as this will have more controls and be fully documented. So let's split screen again so we get the visibility of both. In controls, we have disable LEDs. When activated, this turns off the LEDs. Less flashing lights in the house is always a good thing for partner approval. LED night mode when told on turns off the LEDs overnight based on the time set in the SLZB-06 web UI. The VPN enabled is a more advanced feature and probably why it's hidden. When activated, this allows you to connect your home assistant to an SLZB-06 that's at a remote location over WireGuard. This allows you to control Zigbee devices through an SLZB-06 as if those devices were at your home location. You could use this maybe for your summer house or even your parents' house if you don't want to install Home Assistant instance at that house. We'll cover this more advanced feature in a future video. In the configuration section, you have the option to auto update the Zigbee firmware. I would not recommend enabling this and instead to update when you have reviewed the release notes. You can also see that there is a core firmware available for update. Remember that the core is the ESP32 module, which you can now update directly from Home Assistant. You can also see if there is a Zigbee firmware update available, which in this case there is not. You also get the option to restart the core or Zigbee. And one of the hidden entries is to allow you to put the coordinator into flash mode, 
allowing the Zigbee chip to be updated over the air or via the network connection without requiring a physical access of the device. I would recommend not attempting this from Home Assistant and instead from the web UI. I'll put links in the description on details of how to do this. In the diagnostic section, we can see the connection mode, which for my device is ethernet and if it is connected. As before, you can see the temperature of the core ESP32 chipset and the Zigbee radio chipset. If the device is online to the internet, what type of mode of coordinator is currently in use with possible values of coordinator, router, etc. And finally, the firmware channel, which on the SLZB06 Home Assistant integration documentation refers to the update channel for the device's firmware. It indicates which version stream of firmware updates the device is configured to receive and has possible values of stable and development. Under the hidden entities, we have diagnostic data for VPN, Wi-Fi, core uptime, file system usage, RAM usage, Zigbee uptime, all of which that map to values in the web UI. Now we all love data and having this in Home Assistant is great eye candy. But what can we do with it? Well, if you remember a while ago, we created a great dashboard that gave us a single view of all of our updates for core OS plus add-ons and hacks integrations. Link in the pop-up above if you'd like to recreate this dashboard. Let's add our SM Lite firmware update status to this dashboard. Press the pencil in the top right-hand corner. Edit the card for the add-ons. Select the last card. Press the copy icon. Now press the plus icon. Select paste from clipboard. Clear the entity fill by using the X to the right. Type SLZB. Two entities will come up. The first is for the core firmware. The second is for the Zigbee firmware. Select the core. Now press save and press done. You can now see the firmware that was flagged as requiring an update is highlighted here for update available. You can do the same process for the Zigbee firmware and place on the dashboard or even create an automation based on this value. So that's the SM Lite new integration. Personally, I love the way that SM Lite are continuing to expand the features and functionality of their coordinator range. The web UI for the SLZB06 range was already best in class and far ahead of its competition. The fact that SM Lite listened to their customers and adding even more functionality allowing for Home Assistant integration shows me this is going to be a long lasting relationship between Home Assistant users and SM Lite. Well done guys. Well I hope you enjoyed the video and if you found it useful then hit that like icon, share with your friends, comment and tell me your thoughts on the SLZB range of coordinators. And if you want to see similar material, then hit subscribe or maybe become a channel member to help support us make content for you. And if I've helped you make a purchasing decision, then maybe a super thanks or a PayPal donation. It's really appreciated. Until the next one.